Hello everybody, it's Inflated Girl here. Today I'm doing a different kind of video. Um, I decided to put up my Mardi Gras decorations and I was thinking what kind of inflatables and balloons do I have that could be, that could like go in with the Mardi Gras theme. Um, so I actually ended up buying a new inflatable and one of my lunar friends in the community helped me out and got me some really cute Mardi Gras balloons from um, Amscan. Amscan balloons, or I think that's how you say it. Um, but yeah, there's these like 12 inch type 15 um, Mardi Gras print balloons. And I went with that um, because Amscan is a decent brand for like printed balloons um, from my experience in the past. So um, I had put that on my Amazon wish list and thankfully my friend uh, helped me out and got me those. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate you. Um, and then we have some other Mardi Gras balloons because I wanted a variety. Um, so we have like this pack that has some confetti balloons. They're clear with purple confetti. There's ones with green confetti and gold. And then, you know, just the Mardi Gras colors. So yeah, I um, just got done taking down my Valentine's balloons. They were so beautiful and I made a lot of fun content with them. Um, but Valentine's Day is over and I've actually wanted to do Mardi Gras content for a while. I know it's not like the most celebrated holiday, like, or it's just not like something that everyone celebrates, but it's really fun. I really love Mardi Gras. I think it's a really fun holiday. Um, I love the colors of it and it might not seem like it cause I'm shy, but I love to party. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's, it's a good time when you have good food, you know, Creole and Cajun food, and you're partying with your friends, having delicious cocktails. I really love that aspect of Mardi Gras, and I thought it would be fun to do some inflatable and lunar content with, um, the Mardi Gras theme. So... Um, oh yeah, and then the other inflatable, because I don't actually have a ton of purple inflatables here um, on the west coast, but I did happen to order some shoju, some new shoju product. I'll be doing a, another unboxing video to show like everything that I bought from shoju, but one of them was the Brightville 1200. And this is the transparent purple one. I think I mentioned in my last shoju video um, how I really wanted to get the transparent purple at some point, and I went ahead and did it. It's just so beautiful. I love transparent purple. And I'm gonna open up that. And the other inflatable that I got was the Suntan Island Lounger. It's a transparent yellow lounger kind of float. Um, I actually had this on my wish list and I've been wanting it for a while just because I don't have like a ton of floats and floats are more comfortable like if I'm um, using inflatables with my partner because like we can both hang out on it um, and do fun things. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this was actually on my wish list but nobody had gotten it and it had been like a year. So I was thinking that would be great for Mardi Gras content and other stuff. So um, I went ahead and bought it. I actually got this for 12 bucks because I went with the um, used like new option on Amazon. Um, Cause this was actually like 30 something bucks if I were to just buy it brand new. And I thought, well, if it's like new, it's I'm guessing that this wasn't, I don't know if this was ever opened, but um, I thought I'd take a risk and see like how it is. Um, yeah, I, I thought it surely can't be that bad. 
and 12 bucks in savings. I'm actually going to start uh, with blowing up the balloons because I plan on making a balloon banner. I saved the uh, plastic that you attach the balloons to to make the balloon banner because I had this with my Valentine's balloons that I did. And yeah, I just, I had this idea. I thought it would be fun to do something different for my YouTube videos for a change and combine balloons and inflatables and start with making a balloon banner that's Mardi Gras themed. So I'm gonna use these ones. I'm not sure if I want to use the printed ones for the uh, balloon banner just because they might, the print might not be seen as much. I think I'll have these for like loose balloons. So yeah, I will start blowing up these Mardi Gras colored balloons and make a balloon banner with them. And I might uh, decide to speed up the process when filming this video because it's a lot of balloons. So let's get started. I'm gonna put my earplugs in for safety. on my balloon machine broke so I have to use this switch to blow it up I can't just like push it down like I used to I don't know does that happen to any of you guys it's a little annoying um because like if I keep this on the balloon could like blow up so fast that it pops before I can like tie it off so gotta be careful so fast it's like because i i was experiencing that when i was um putting together my valentine's balloon arch and
really loving balloon arches though. Like it's, it sure does take a while to put them together, but they're so beautiful once they're done. And I really loved hanging up the Valentine's balloon arch that I made. I think that's what I'm gonna do with this one because I don't have any like fancy wire stuff that can like make it just stand up. So um, it's easier for me to just hang it from the ceiling. So I'm gonna blow up some of these smaller than others just because I think it looks better to have a variety of sizes when putting the arch together. So I just start with these little holes here. It doesn't really matter like what size balloon you use. It can be whatever. 
I just like to alternate the colors and sizes. It looks really cute. Um, bone arch or bone garland, whatever you want to call it. more secure if you want um, though I don't think it's completely necessary as you can like take these uh, balloon glue dots and like kind of hold them together with some of the balloons just so they're like more sturdy I did that a little bit with the Valentine's balloon arch that I made but I, I don't think it's necessary because these little notches here hold them in pretty well Cluster of balloons get too tight, you might have to like go on to the next row of like holes because otherwise it can be too tight and just not work out. There's my cluster so far. It's looking pretty with Mardi Gras colors. This will take a while, so I'm going to speed up the video a bit um, just so you can see more progress being made uh, quicker. show you the balloon garland up close. Have it hanging. Looks pretty cute. I will say it's not quite as big as my Valentine balloon garland that I made, but it still looks nice. Now for the inflatable portion of the video, I will be blowing off the transparent purple shows you ride roll. Beautiful, glossy, transparent purple. That's what I love to see. these ride rolls is that when you're not using them you could also just stand them up and depending on how tall your ceiling is they kind of stay in place so um, that's probably what I'll do with this once I blow it up and then I blow up the lounger to see how much space I'm working with
better put my earplugs back in. This is so huge. I think I said that the last time. <laughs> um, wow. Yeah, this takes up a lot of space. I'll move the camera around so you can see just how big this is. <laughs> okay, holding this with my foot so it doesn't roll off. <laughs> yeah, it goes from one side of the room to the other. It's really huge. It's beautiful and I love it. <laughs> okay, I love this ride roll so much. I don't know which would I love better, the um, frosted purple or this transparent purple. They're both lovely. going to stand this up so it's out of the way and I have more room to blow up the Suntan Island Lounger by Swimline. just like this nothing else um, and the box is pretty beat up so I wonder if because this is used like new um, I wonder if the person who got this it's all like oh that's a beat up box I'm sending it back um, yeah so because like looking at this it's folded just like the manufacturer would fold it um, it's just, yeah, unless you're that good at folding it as a customer. Yeah, I don't know, but we'll see how this does. Um, I'm going to blow it up and also have it blown up overnight and see, like, if there's any slow leaks or anything. Um, it said, like, new, so I think this hasn't even been touched, honestly. And 12 bucks is a pretty good deal considering I could have spent 33 or 35, I forget how much it was, but yeah.
So I just finished blowing up the Suntan Island Lounger. I'm doing a quick walk around to tell you what I noticed. I went ahead and cleaned the surface area um, with soap and water. I noticed that there were these little Sharpie marks, um, little circles on all those areas. Those are actually where the seams are. So I wonder if the manufacturer did that when putting together and they just didn't bother taking it off. <laughs> they have those there. They have them all around here. As you can see. Um, yeah, so I just thought that was interesting. I never saw that before on an inflatable that I bought, um, like from Swimline or something. So I'm not sure if that's what they do, but I think I can eventually just take some, I don't know, nail polish remover or something. I don't like doing that because I know it can destroy the PVC or vinyl, but yeah. Well, it is really comfy, um, minus the little Sharpie marks pretty it's pretty nice um yeah i don't know if i'm gonna take some nail polish remover i might ask some other inflatable friends to see if that would be okay and then quickly wash it just because i know that over time that it can harden plastic and not make your ear inflatable feel as fun <laughs> we don't like soft pvc and soft vinyl so yeah, I'm gonna keep this blown up overnight, see if I notice anything, see if this purchase was worth it. I think, you know, I think it's really not, not a bad deal, um, but I'm hoping that it's, you know, it doesn't uh, fail on me and <laughs> have like a slow leak somewhere. But if so, I could probably return it. notice a little pinhole right here. Surprisingly, it's not on the seam though. It's just a tiny little mark there. It must have happened from um, shipment. I mean, it was just in that box. No, nothing else to prevent it from getting anything sharp and poked at it. So I'm going to take some vinyl glue and glue it up. Wait 24 hours before I can use this inflatable. <laughs> yeah, but it's really comfy. I could probably take a nap on this. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Happy Mardi Gras if you celebrate it. Um, I'm going to try to upload this on Mardi, Mardi Gras tomorrow, if not the next day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more. And we'll see you guys next time.